This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before getting into the workout, make sure you're going over the warm-up and stimulus found on the Instagram post or the Best Box app on your phone. Make sure that warm, when doing the warm-up, we're increasing our heart rate, increasing our body temperature, and we're getting a little bit of a sweat happening. Getting yourselves ready for the workout. For today's workout, we're starting with the dumbbell floor press. We're doing five sets of five reps. Ideally, we want to be able to build up to a heavy set of five with the dumbbells we have available. If you're limited on dumbbell weight, then focus on having more of a tempo, controlling it more on the way down. So be fast up and then negatives on the way down, focusing on that negative or eccentric motion to gain more strength when we're limited in weight. So setting myself up on the floor, grab my dumbbells, bring them up. Make sure my back is flat against the mat. I'm squeezing through my stomach and I am bracing through my abs and I'm squeezing my glutes. I'm pushing the dumbbells out in front of me and then bringing them down with control. If I'm limited in weight and we're working on eccentrics or tempo, press and then come down in two or three seconds. Increasing the time under tension, promoting strength in that manner. If we want to get a little bit more of a midline stability focus, then we're going to drive our hips up, squeeze through our glutes, maintain our midline, and go into a glute bridge while doing the floor press. Digging our shoulders into the floor. Once you've done your five sets of five reps, we're gonna get into the Metcon. For the Metcon today, we have five rounds for time of 30 dumbbell swings, 20 push-ups, and 10 dumbbell weighted sit-ups. The idea is that we wanna make sure that we wanna try and use the same weight for the dumbbell swings as the dumbbell weighted sit-ups. The RX weights for men are 50 pounds and the women, 35 pounds. Starting with those dumbbell swings. This is gonna be like a kettlebell swing and we wanna make sure that we're going all the way overhead in what would be called an American style swing as opposed to the Russian, which is to eye level. Those swings, make sure that we are moving through the glute, the hips, put the bending over forward, pushing the hips back and driving the hips forward to create momentum and generate power to get the weight up and over. Trying to use more of your legs and hips than your arms while doing these, sw these swings. What they're gonna look like. Starting with the weight a little bit up in front of me, I'm gonna bend over, swing it between my legs, and drive it overhead. Try and maintain a flat back, keep your shoulders active, avoiding shrugging. Once you've done your 30 dumbbell swings, you're gonna go into the push-ups. For my push-ups, I want to make sure that I am maintaining a good midline. I'm not leaving my hips back here. I'm pushing my hips forward, squeezing my glutes, active shoulders, going down, pressing back up. If you can, try and go all the way down to the floor. If not, don't worry. Just try and get yourself as low as you can while being able to push yourself back up. If you find from the toes difficult, then you can anchor yourself in our knees. If we're from our knees, make sure that we are pushing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, nice straight position here, down and up. Once you're done your 20 push-ups, move into the 10 weighted sit-ups. Starting with the weight in your lap, you're gonna lay back, hold the weight overhead, and you're gonna sit up with the weight overhead. Like I said earlier. Once you've done your 10 weighted sit-ups, go back to the top, start at the 30 dumbbell swings, and make your way through those rounds again. Remember, remember five rounds per time, 30 dumbbell swings, 20 push-ups, and 10 dumbbell weighted sit-ups. Get after it, have fun.